This is question 46. The question states, what is the radius of curvature of an equiconvex lens made of glass of refractive index 5 by 3 if its focal length is 40 cm? And the options are 10 cm, 160 by 3 cm, 20 cm or 10 cm. The student, to solve this question, we can use the lens makers formula. And as per the lens makers formula, the inverse of the focal length is equal to the refractive index minus 1 multiplied by 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2, where R1 and R2 are the radii of curvature of the two refracting surfaces. Now, since this is an equiconvex lens, we can write down that R1 is equal to R and R2 is equal to minus R. Thus, 1 by F will be equal to mu minus 1, 2 by R. In this case, the refractive index is given as 5 by 3 and the focal length is given as 40 centimeters. So, this will be 1 by 40 is equal to 5 by 3 minus 1 into 2 by R giving us a value of R to be equal to 160 by 3 centimeters. And hence for this question, the correct answer is B that is 160 by 3 centimeters. Now, let us proceed to the next question. This is question 47. The question states, the maximum kinetic energy of emitted electrons in a photoelectric effect does not depend upon frequency, wavelength, work function or intensity. Dear students, as per the Einstein's photoelectric equation, H nu that is the incident energy is equal to the H nu naught that is the work function plus maximum kinetic energy. This is also known as the work function and is usually represented by a symbol phi. Thus, the maximum kinetic energy depends upon the work function and the incident energy or the incident frequency which can also be written as hc by lambda. Thus, it also depends on the incident wavelength. The only factor on which the kinetic energy's maximum value does not depend is the intensity. Please note that it is the saturation photocurrent that depends on the intensity. And hence for this question, the correct answer is D, that is intensity. Now let us proceed to the next question. This is question 48. The question states, the motion of a particle along a straight line is described by the equation x is equal to 12t minus t cube, where x is in meter and t is in seconds. The time instant when the velocity of the particle becomes 0 is 2 second, 1 second, 4 second and seconds. Dear students, in this question it is given that x is equal to 12t minus t cube. The velocity is equal to the differentiation of x, so dx by dt, that will be 12 minus 3t square. We have to find out the instant when this velocity becomes 0. So, we can write down that 12 minus 3t square is equal to 0 or t square is equal to 4. Further on, this means that t is equal to 2 seconds. And hence for this question, the correct answer is option A, that is 2 seconds. Now, let us proceed to the next question. This is question 49. The question states, a block of mass 4 kg rests on a rough horizontal surface. If a horizontal force of 12 Newton is applied on the block, then the frictional force by the surface on the block is. It is given that mu k is equal to 0 0.4, mu s is equal to 0 0.5 and g is equal to 10 meter per second square. The options are 16 Newton, 12 Newton, 20 Newton and 8 Newton. The students herein, first of all we will start by finding out the limiting value of friction which is equal to mu s into n. Mu s is given to be equal to 0 0.5 and n will be equal to mg that is 4 into 10. So, this will be equal to 20 Newton. Since the applied force is 12 Newton, that is F applied is equal to 12 Newton and it is less than the limiting value of friction. Thus, the block will not move and the frictional force will act only equal to the applied force. Thus, the value of the frictional force will be equal to 12 Newton only as it will self adjust to the applied force. Therefore, for this question, the correct answer is B, that is 12 Newton. Now, let us proceed to the next question. This is question 50. 
The question states the radius of gyration of a spherical shell of mass capital M and radius r about its tangential axis will be root 2 by 5 r, root 7 by 5 r, root 2 by 3 r or d that is root 5 by 3 r. The students in this case there is a spherical shell and we have to find out the radius of gyration about this axis. This is a diametrical axis and we know that about the diametrical axis the moment of inertia is 2 by 3 m r square. This distance is r. Now as per the parallel axis theorem, if the moment of inertia about this axis is i1, we can write down that i1 is equal to the moment of inertia about center of mass that is 2 by 3 m r square plus m r square as the distance between these two axes is r. Now furthermore, i1 will be equal to 5 by 3 m r square. Now we must also know that if the radius of gyration is equal to k, then the moment of inertia can also be written as m k square. If this is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2 and if we compare equation 1 and 2, we can write down that m k square is equal to 5 by 3 m r square giving the value of k to be equal to root 5 by 3 r and hence for this question the correct answer is d that is root 5 by 3 r. Dear students, I hope you were able to understand all the solutions for this test. I wish you all the very best for the upcoming NEET examination. Thank you for watching.